Hello everybody, Vikingsman18 here. We are at a pretty, uh, pretty big occasion, which is the launch of the WWE Network. Today's date is February 24th, 2014. It is currently 1.33 p.m. That's when I'm recording this. The network has been launched for about four and a half hours now. And we, as you can see, are on the main sign-up page for the network. Um, I figured I would do a quick video showing you guys the in and outs of the network. I already paid for it and bought it and I'm subscribed to the network. Hopefully we can get it to work because the network has been experiencing a lot of issues. The servers are being overloaded to the max right now. And I mean they are really being overloaded to the max. Um, so cross our fingers and let's see if this works. Already a subscriber signed in, let's go. And it does. And I have to pause this. Oh, nice, nice screenshot. Okay guys, this is the very front page of the WWE Network. As you can see, we have a live feed right here with Bree and Nikki Bella. Beautiful. Uh, I had to pause it real quickly, so just in case I don't want to get a copyright strike for having any footage on there. The, there will always be a live feed on the network, and it has scheduled shows that you can watch in a row. And you can see them all appear scheduled. As you can see at 1 o'clock right now, we are currently on WWE Superstars. At 2 o'clock, we will have Beyond the Ring. Brett the Hitman Hart and Shawn Michaels engage in one of the most bitter rivalries ever. Now they sit down and rehash their storied past. Oh, no, I did not want to play it. <laughs> Back. Um, at 4 o'clock, we have NXT Ingring Specials. At 5 o'clock, they're actually showing WrestleMania 1. And you guys get the gist. Legends of Wrestling, that's a good show. And like I said, it has a schedule, and this is for the live feed that will be on the front page of the network, which I have to quickly pause again. And there's Eva Marie. But um, yeah, that's how the, the live feed works. We obviously have Search, that's pretty explanatory, I don't really have to describe that. And then of course we have the pay-per-views, we'll go up here, we'll go to Shows, and we'll go to WWE pay-per-views. And let's just say they weren't lying when they said every single pay-per-view ever made by all three of these companies, WWE, WCW, and ECW, will be available at launch. The catch, it's not really a catch because it's not their fault, is that the network is being so slammed right now on their servers that it is almost impossible to watch any of these feeds. Uh, I've been able to get a feed of WrestleMania 29 for some reason, this one right here. For some reason, that always works when I try it. But I was actually trying to watch the, uh, right here. I was trying to watch the Invasion pay-per-view, and it, like, it loads, and you can actually watch it from the beginning, but I didn't feel like watching a whole three-hour pay-per-view, so I wanted to skip to a certain match, and it's just having issues loading the matches. And it's not my internet, because I have outstanding internet here. It's just the servers, like I said, are being overloaded, which I expected, so I'm not disappointed or anything. Uh... As I said, we can go back to the pay-per-views. You can just scroll down. They have them all listed in chronological order, starting from the latest down to the very first. It's interesting because the latest pay-per-view they have is Tables, Ladders, and Chairs 2013, meaning currently the Royal Rumble and the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view that just aired last night are not currently on the network, which I found pretty interesting. I don't know why. I hope they get them up soon. Um, all pay-per-views will be live. Uh, when they air, so that's good. But here I'm scrolling down and like literally every pay per view. I'll just keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. We're in the 90s. And WrestleMania 1, the first pay per view. And that's just WWE. And they made it easy by going here. You can look up the name of a pay per view. You can hit it. Let's go to uh, Backlash. And we can go to any Backlash pay per view. So it makes it very easy. WCW, you have all the WCW pay-per-views, just like WWE, just obviously their pay-per-views. And then lastly, you have ECW. It uh, it has the actual ECW pay-per-views, meaning like the real ones that happen, not the WWE brand, even though I guess you consider these few the WWE brand. And they have them all. In-ring is NXT and a couple of other things, like Raw, SmackDowns. And here's an interesting thing that the WWE Network uh, 
frequently asked questions page has posted. Let's go to Raw replays. You'll see that the latest episode of Raw they have is January 19th, 2014. As you can see, it's the night Batista returned. Um, they said that they are not allowed to post an episode of Raw or SmackDown until 30 days after it airs. That pretty much makes sense because they have contracts, obviously, with the USA Network and with Sci-Fi, at least for the United States. I don't, I don't know what networks it airs for my foreign fans out there, but uh, they have TV contracts with them, and apparent they don't. Apparently, if they posted all the replays right away, it would be like a breach of contract or something. I'm assuming that, like, I don't know the truth of that, but I'm assuming that's why they have to wait 30 days. But pay-per-views. Is owned by the company. No network owns the rights to show them. So I'm kind of confused on why the 2014 pay-per-views aren't up there yet, but I hope they will be. You have SmackDown, NXT. Now, NXT is a different story because NXT is their own brand show. And if you follow NXT, you would know that NXT does not currently air in the United States of America on live TV. So we can have these uploaded here right away. We have Superstars. Uh, only two episodes of that, main event, and that's it. We have originals, so WWE Beyond the Ring. I'm guessing these are like the documentary DVDs or something. As you can see, the only one we have right here is Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart. It actually is the whole sit-down interview of the DVD. We have WWE Countdown. So far, all we have is coolest catchphrases. That actually aired today, this morning. And we have WrestleMania Rewind, which is like they interview people talking about the WrestleMania. And this is for WrestleMania 1, which I actually aired today as well. Here's the vault. We have WCCW. It just says number 46 from 1982. So I'm guessing that's just an old TV taping of uh, WCCW. We have old school. So I guess these are just old school footage. Well, Madison Square Garden matches from the 70s. Well, ECW Hardcore TV, they only have four of them. Legends of Wrestling is actually a really cool show. They only have three of them, which kind of disappoints me, but it's not a big deal. Um, if you don't know what Legends of Wrestling is, it's where they get a whole bunch of, like, like, like as it says, legends, like JR, Sergeant Slaughter, DDP, Michael Hayes, and they all sit on a round table, and they uh, talk about different things. And there you have that. This is the current library they have on there, as I stated. Uh, let's hit WrestleMania 29 real quickly. I'll probably... It'll give you the, obviously, TV PG. I'll pause real quickly. It's not even loading, so... That shows you right there. We won't even bother. It's not loading because of the... Uh, Oh, nice. Undertaker face. Oh, what is this? about? Is this about HBK? Oh, I shouldn't be watching this. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. I'm kind of curious, though. Oh, it's about his DVD. Oh, yeah, I already have his DVD. Sorry. I hope I don't get in trouble for posting that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all they have right now. I mean, I say all they have, but they have a lot if you actually go and watch everything. But I don't think I'll be viewing anything for a while because, like I said, the servers are being slammed right now. So, honestly, I'm not even bothered right now because I kind of expected this to happen. But hopefully within a few days they'll have it figured out. And I think it's worth the buy. Me, personally, I can get endless hours of pay-per-view content. No more looking on YouTube for different videos. And just hoping it's on there. WrestleMania 25, what a great pay-per-view. HBK versus Undertaker, go check it out. Uh, cheap plug. <laughs> Gosh, there's a lot. Hi, Tori. Hi, Sable. I'm just looking through these to try to get like a memory. Like, slam my memory, see if I can remember any of these. Obviously, I remember a lot of them, but like certain matches. WrestleMania 17, that was a decent pay-per-view. WrestleMania 16, that pay-per-view kind of sucked, except for a few matches. Royal Rumble 99. They do have Over the Edge 1999. Let me click that real quickly. I want to see if they have a disclaimer. 
TV 14, violence, yada yada yada. And it's not loading, so I'm not going to bother. I asked for a disclaimer because I think most of you know that Over the Edge 99 was the pay-per-view where Owen Hart died. They have it on there, so there must be something. I do know they have a disclaimer for Chris Benoit footage. But so yes, Chris Benoit is on uh, the WWE Network. WrestleMania. So if you want to go watch the classic at WrestleMania 20 between Triple H, Chris Benoit, and Shawn Michaels, you can go and watch that. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much all they have right now. As I said, they have an extensive library, and it's very interesting to see what they're going to try to add over time. Personally, I'm excited for it. Uh, kind of worried about the streaming for the pay-per-views. I really hope it works. I wish they would have chose a different pay-per-view to begin it with besides WrestleMania because I'm excited for WrestleMania. But hopefully they'll have it figured out by then, guys. Anyways, it's $10 a month for a six-month commitment, meaning that once you sign up, you are committed for six months. So if you plan on backing out, be sure you have at least $60 in your pocket because they will charge you the remaining. So... $10 a month, good luck trying to sign up at this point because your order probably won't go through at this point in time because it's still launch day and it is being slammed. I signed up for the network about a half hour before it launched because they started allowing it then, so I got lucky. And quite frankly, I'm lucky to even be in this right now to show you guys because it hasn't been loading all day. So <laughs> I hope I gave you guys a good first impression of the network. $10 a month, it's worth it, guys. If you want to see every pay-per-view live, it's much better, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be seeing you, as always, for more later.